We begin with breaking news out of Melvindale. A gas line explosion lights up the sky overnight and sends residents scrambling for safety. Yeah, this happened at the corner of Allen Road and Greenfield. Officials say the flames spread to nearby homes in the area. At least 38 homes had to be evacuated. We know this all started when a car crashed through a fence and into a 500 pound gas main. We have Team 7 coverage for you this morning, and we want to start with 7 Action News reporter Anne Marie LaFlame. Yeah, she joins us live with the details. Anne Marie, what can you tell us? What have you learned? Well, I put us up on this hill here because I want to set the scene for you. Take a look behind me and you can see Greenfield Road. We're told the driver was heading southbound at Allen on Greenfield. That's when he hit that transformer. That's when that gas line exploded. I'm going to pan over a second to show you this melted siding. I had one firefighter describe the scene to me as a war zone, just an explosion. The good news, those condos are okay. That siding and heat damage is all they will see there. That's the same for a few residential homes as well. As we head over to the right a bit, you'll see this brick building. This is on DTE's campus right here, and you can see the ladder truck pouring water on that building. That building is destroyed. That is a total loss this morning. We're going to head down the hill because I want to set the scene some more for you. As you can see, several emergency responders still here. Now, in terms of the victim, what I was told is he was in the vehicle. The initial fire was not the huge explosion that you see, so he does have burns throughout the front of his body. He was taken to the hospital. Throughout the morning, we've been showing you two different cars, two burned out vehicles. Apparently, there was another person following the man that did hit that transformer. They were not injured. Now, right now, you see white smoke. Those are the traffic poles for a stoplight that is no longer there. They're going to just let that burn out throughout the morning. We are also seeing some black smoke there this morning. That's just debris that's still burning up. Now, I've been talking with Dearborn firefighters. They tell us they have special training just for situations like this marathon refinery just a few miles from here. They're trained for natural gas explosions. So when they arrived on scene, they said it was just a matter of DTE getting that gas turned off so that they could contain the situation and really fix that fire and get it out of the way. I do want to have you listen to a woman we spoke with earlier this morning, Sue and Tony. They were both here. They both heard and saw the explosion. Take a listen. At first, I thought it was just more fireworks, but as soon as I got on social media, people as far away as Wyandotte were saying that they saw their curtains blow 10 inches back, that they felt their windows rattle. And um, so on a night when there were so many fireworks, people didn't know at first what was going on. I was going um, north on Allen Road, and uh, I just seen a big ball of fire, and I was like, oh, my God, I had to see what the heck was going on. And it was just like it, it was so intense, I couldn't, even, I couldn't even believe it. It's the biggest fire that I've ever seen, and uh, it was, you know, it was just crazy. And again, it's going to take some time for the cleanup here. As we move closer, you can still see the burning there. Folks east of Prospect are able to return home. That's the good news this morning. One victim was taken to the hospital. We are not hearing about any other injuries. That certainly is the good news here in Melvindale this morning. Anu, Malcolm. Yeah, thanks, Amory. Just.